Allen joins Mayor of Winston-Salem, J.D. Wilson's best friend. <laughs> it's great to be here. Uh, it's a culmination of a lot of hard work by uh, Janie Wilson and her team to pull together this uh, plaque that we'll be unveiling re uh, in just a few minutes. Uh, you know, so important that the work that we do throughout Winston-Salem have been doing it for many, many years with our Historic Resources Commission. Uh, highlighting and recognizing and memorializing places throughout our city. I think if you drive around you'll see plaques like this all over and whether it be a, a neighborhood or an individual or an organization that we've recognized it uh, really sets a great tone for our city to show that we do um, appreciate the history and the work that folks did and the, the importance of certain decisions that were made as we'll hear about this particular plaque. So I'm very happy to be here today. Let me pause and recognize our Mayor Pro Tem, uh, Dee Dee Adams. So, Mr. Adams, would you like to say a word? Good morning, I'm good. She's good. <laughs> After last night. I'm yeah, good. we had. Uh, Not enough coffee. Uh, council, uh, Mayor Pro Tem and uh, Councilman McIntosh and I were in a council meeting till 9:15 or so last night. So, uh, how about the Jeff McIntosh uh, from the Northwest Ward? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, just a couple of brief remarks. I'm told my best speeches are my really short ones, so I'll keep this brief. But thank you to Janie, and thank you to staff, and all the other uh, community members, neighborhood members that uh, that made this happen. We're really excited about it. Um, I was saying to Cindy Scar earlier, Winston-Salem has an embarrassment of riches when it comes to um, historic properties and, and buildings. And I think people get a little numb to it, and they just over overlook the, the, what we have here. So this will bring people's attention to a place and maybe make them stop and do a little bit of research and find out what the real history was here and what the Reynolds family, uh, the big legacy of, of the Reynolds family, but the sort of the individual things like this that they've done that really have en enhanced our city. So again, thank you for the efforts that have gone into this and, um, and we appreciate all your work and look forward to working with you in the future. And who's next? Thank you, uh, Councilmember McIntosh. We're also fortunate to have with us uh, Commissioner Ted Kaplan of uh, Forsyth County Board of Commissioners. Uh, this is a city county commission, which is, is a good thing because they're recognizing uh, all over the county. So, Commissioner uh, Kaplan, would you like to say a word? I'm going to follow Didi's. Oh, you'll follow Didi's. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, wonderful. Well, now I'd like to recognize Sonny Stewart, who is with the Historic Resources Commission, to really give the, the background and the, the, put the meat on the bones for what we're doing here. So, Sonny? Hi, my name is Sunny Stewart and I am a member of the Forsyth County Historic Resources Commission and on behalf of the Commission, um, there are several of us here today, on behalf of the Commission and the Historic Marker Committee, I would like to thank all of you for being here today. Um, the first local historic markers were installed in 2001, which is 20 years ago this year, it seems incredible. Um, and to date, so far we have placed more than 60 markers throughout Forsyth County. Um, markers help residents remember and learn about important places, events, and people in the community's collective history. Um, and these markers help mark a spot in history that shouldn't be forgotten. Today, as you know, we are here to celebrate Renolda Park, one of Winston-Salem's grandest neighborhoods. Catherine Smith Reynolds Johnston subdivided these 65 acres from Renolda Estate in the early 1920s and hired landscape architect Thomas Warren Sears to lay out the streets and multi-acre lots. Early residents included members of the Reynolds family, Reynolds Tobacco and Wachovia executives, and local business owners Norman Stockton and Edward O'Hanlon. We want to thank Janie Butler Wilson. Where is Janie? Oh, right there. There you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you to Janie and the residents of Renolda Park for funding this marker. Um, and it's an honor to be here um, as we dedicate it today. So once again, thank you for joining us for this celebration of this important part of our history. Thank you. Thank you, Sonny. I see Allison Perkins in the back here with the Executive Director of Renolda House. So thank you for being with us as well. Well, it's now my honor to bring up uh, Janie Butler Wilson to tell us more about this process and the importance of it. So, Janie. Thanks, everybody. Well, first, to thank the Historic Resources Commission and particularly Heather Brightland, where'd she go? There you go, who shepherded this project for our neighborhood and ended up sending countless emails back and forth to me. <laughs> 
as we welcome our elected officials past and present. Um, on Arbor and Kent Roads have lived mayors, council members, as well as titans of industry here in Winston-Salem, the founder of Piedmont Airlines, bankers, clothiers, publishers, and many more. Our neighborhood has come together a couple of times in the past to paint the street signs, which you can see on the green poles in places, and to plant these cherry trees after we had to uh, take out a tree that had long outlived its usefulness. So we've come together to celebrate the work of Katherine Smith Reynolds Johnston and to let us remember our past and look toward the future. I'd like to thank Phil Archer of Renolda House and the Creative Center of North Carolina for assisting us with this project and the historic, res uh, historic recognition that it has. Thank you all for being here. And let's unveil. Thank you.